Welcome to rewarding your players with fist bands of Treasury of Dragons, Part 3, Dragon's Wrath. Dragon's Wrath is a weapon of any variety that comes in four stages listed in the book, Slumbering, Stirring, Wakened, and Ascendant. With the Slumbering trait, when you roll a 20 to attack on your target, each target within five feet of it takes five additional damage associated with the Dragon's Breath weapon. When Dragon's Wrath hits Stirring Stage, it becomes a plus one weapon to give you plus one to hit and plus one to damage. Also, it gains a d6 additional damage varied with the Dragon's Breath weapon associated with it. When Dragon's Wrath hits the Waken Stage, your weapon now becomes a plus two weapon, and the additional damage increases to 2d6. Also, you get a destructive energy cone that reaches out to 30 feet. The enemies have to make a DC Dexterity save, and it deals 8d6 associated with the Dragon's Breath weapon. Finally, once Dragon's Wrath hits the Ascendant stage, it now becomes a plus 3 weapon, and the additional damage it deals goes up to 3d6 on hit. Also, the Destructive Energy Cone you had before increases to 60 feet. Your DC also increases by 2 from 16 to 18, and your damage increases from 8d6 to 12d6. Additionally, Dragon's Wrath is just an awesome item. You can give it to a fighter who's becoming a dragon slayer, a paladin who's maybe Oath of Vengeance defending innocence from dragons. The weapon type also says any, so you could even modify this to be a wand and give it to a spellcaster. Thanks for tuning in for episode 3 of Rewarding Your Players with Fizz Bands. Next time, I'm going to be talking about the dragon-touched focus, an item specifically made for spellcasters.